Hello loves and happy Sunday. So I'm coming to you today because at church we played this game called the sword drill and I didn't even know that it had a name. I probably played this as a child or, or teenager when I was back in the youth group but it really touched me because today it was all about um, the armor of God having the sword of the spirit by you and they had this beautiful beautiful picture of the Bible and a sword and like basically what I got from today was that many of us have our sword sitting right next to us and often we we just allow it to sit and to collect dust so in service today uh, one of the leaders gave a quick excerpt or message about how you know when you walk into museums or you walk into offices and I was a part of an office where swords were were on the wall because people had won these for various things right so we have this sword but we don't use it we just hang it on the wall or we put it on the shelf same thing for like our Bibles we have our Bible but we don't use it every day and it hit me and I said you know what God I know I don't read my word every single day probably four to five times a week but I know that when I am in the word, it's just so powerful and it moves me. And what I took away from it, I said, she's right. A lot of people have their swords and it collects so much dust. They never open it. And I said, you know what, God, I have to admit, I even stopped bringing my Bible to church because it's so torn up because I've had this Bible for like five, over five years. And I haven't replaced it yet because it's so dear to me. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to replace it, God. Like every, every year, I'm like, I'm going to replace it. It's time to replace it. Um... But it's all torn up and I'm embarrassed to carry it around. Although I am uh, really into my Bible and I read it four to five times a week, I will not carry it outside because I'm like, it's falling apart. This is what's happening. But I use it. And that's why I was used today in church um, to be as an example. And I was just like, wow, God, it's interesting that we go throughout life and we have the word of God that was provided for us. The word of God so that it could guide us, so that it could teach us, so that it could even protect us against these things that are happening in the world, right? And how can you be prepared to go into battle, to go into war if you don't have your sword? And I said, you know what? God, this message was for me. And to think, I almost was going to go see family this weekend and I wasn't going to be at church, but I got a call on Friday and I said, you know what? I'm going to stay in town this weekend because I need to be there. And it was a blessing to me because I was like, wow, like it's truly amazing um, that we have everything that we need right here. Whether you're a believer or not, I encourage you to, to read the Bible. Check it out. You know, maybe it's not for you, right? That's what people say. Oh, it's not for me. I don't want to hear about it. Different things like that. But find something that is for you. A lot of I, I was reading the history of the Bible this week. I know. I was reading the history of the Bible and that specifically mentioned um, that like it has so many translations of the Bible so that it can reach other people. And I thought that was really cool. And like that the Bible in print version, English version, King James version, it's over like 400 years old. And I'm like, that is so cool. Like to, to read these facts about how the Bible was developed, who are these people that are making the translations so that it can get out to the world. And I said, God, if only people would use their sword just a little bit more, if only they would use it. And I know mine's just falling apart and I will buy a new one this year. I keep saying, God, I'm going to get a new one, but I'm so attached to it. And what a great thing to be attached to, right? Like think about all the things in the world that we can be attached to. And I'm like, God, it's my Bible. Like, oh, it looks really bad. It's falling apart because I do open it quite often and it's traveled with me and different things like that. I'm like, okay, God. This is the year. But I brought this to you, this message to you, specifically saying, use your sword of the spirit. It helps you. It protects you. And anytime you're going to go into battle or you're dealing with things, um, it helps you be prepared. Even when people or situations come your way, because you read your Bible or you know your Bible, you can use it right then and there. But if, like a sword, you hang it up on the wall and something comes your way, you won't be able to quickly pick up that sword and fight right? You're going to be succumb to your enemy because you're not ready. So I encourage you today to get ready, right? Some people say, like, I don't have to get ready because I stay ready, right? So then get ready, get ready because guys, the Bible is a good thing. And I pray that it moves you and helps you as much as it helps me and moves me every single day. All right, guys, have a good week.